Hey, this is the Daily Overpass. My name is Eric and I make apps. Now today, I wanna to talk about why I'm no longer using Snapchat. Okay, so today I'm coming to you from White Horse Hill. It is a beautiful morning here today. White Horse Hill is this scenic hill in Oxfordshire. It's about, I don't know, six or six or eight miles from the office, I suppose, right? And it's got this nice view overlooking all of Oxfordshire. It's a beautiful place and it's a beautiful morning. This is like, this is like a California morning. This is like the mornings we used to have when I get up and go to school in the morning, right? So it's just, it just feels good. I just couldn't go straight to the office. I had to come out and do the video out here today and also to show, show you guys this. So anyway, today I wanted to answer a question. I was asked a question recently about why I no longer use Snapchat. You know, for a while I was on Snapchat every day and I was always putting stuff out there, trying to talk about apps, showing my ad mob revenue, all that kind of stuff, right? And even like if you watch some of the older videos, you got the snap code in the corner in the intro. You know, I was really, I was really big into it for a while, but you know, the reason that I stopped, the main reason I stopped was because I had a phone that kept dying every time I tried to do Snapchat, right? The, it was towards the end of its life, which is, you know, we know the life of a smartphone is about two years, a year and a half maybe, right? So the battery kept dying like immediately whenever I'd open up Snapchat. So it was just, and then when I got a new phone, you know, I just never, never really got back into it and they changed the interface and I just sort of, I just sort of fell out of love with it, right? I just, I really liked it for what it was, but I also had to face the fact that it was not helping me at all, right? It was not helping spread overpass, not you know, spread the word of the company. It wasn't helping me get more app downloads. It was just, it was a distraction. It kind of made me feel cooler because it made me feel kind of young and trendy by using it. But then in the end I thought, you know what? It's not really helping. And I felt a little bit ridiculous when I take out the phone and talk to the camera at wherever I was, like in a restaurant or, you know, wherever. And I thought, and it kind of had this you felt like you're on a treadmill, like you have to keep it going. You know, if I don't snap anything today, then they'll be, you know, they'll be gone tomorrow anyway. So if nothing will matter or anything like that. YouTube is different. You put a YouTube video out there, it's out there forever. Like if I had, if you guys are thinking about doing some, some sort of, um, using one of these things for your marketing of your apps or for your business or whatever, I would recommend YouTube. It's so much nicer. We st I still have people who find videos that I've done two or three years ago, right? And they're finding the channel that way and they're learning about Overpass that way because that content is, it's evergreen. It's always out there and everything like that. Even as much as evergreen as you could be with apps because the app stores change so often, you know, the technology changes so often, but anyway. So yeah, and when, and I have to, realize that I'm really just not that good at social media, right? I'm not good. I'm not good at Twitter, although we do have Twitter, have a Twitter account, but a lot of stuff is just buffered, like, you know, sharing articles and stuff like that. Uh, we have, we have a Facebook. Our Facebook is really good, but I'm not, I put some th content on there, but my team does a lot of it. Instagram, my team does a lot of it. And I'm just, you know, I think I'm just, I'm just past that stage, right? There was one thing I started to notice that with social media, it starts off like very pure and natural. Like there's a bunch of young people who do it or, or between friends, it doesn't have to be young. That's not a, a prerequisite, but you know, like a lot of people between friends, like, oh, I love using Snapchat, like to send things to my kids because it's gone. I can embarrass them right away and then it's gone or whatever that's fun right and they you know and I know kids use it a lot to send stuff back and forth to each other but you know between friends it's natural but all these social media platforms have become this sort of like there's like when people start using something then there'll be a book that comes out how to make millions with snapchat and then all these people all these 40 and 50 year olds will get into this thing and thinking I want to use this for my business and then it becomes less pure so anyway that's one of the reasons why I think I just started thinking about snapchat and I thought man eh, you know what well, we removed the snap code from the videos and every so often I'll take out my phone thinking, should I do Snapchat? And I think, no, you know what? It's not, it's not worth doing. But that's just me, right? If you had to choose between one, YouTube or Snapchat, go with YouTube. You know, go with something that stays, has some staying power. Some things are just a stream, like Twitter is a stream. Twitter just, it comes and goes. Nobody looks at a, at a two week old tweet, you know, unless they have no, 
nobody unless they're following nobody on Twitter Facebook uh, you know if you look at a Facebook page you might see some of the older older Facebook posts but but maybe not but YouTube yeah we have a lot of people find old content on YouTube and it, it works a lot better so anyway <laughs> all right you know what I got to recognize when I reach the point of Ramley anyway I really wanted to show you guys this this great scenery here today I wish you were here with me it's fantastic morning but I'm about to just get back in the car and head to the office so anyway that's it for today I'll talk to you tomorrow